Hey guys, it's Jen from Scan and Cook Canvas and Scalhub on Facebook. I had a member uh, question about how to remember what font you use. We used to be able to go up here to log, uh, window and project info. That doesn't work anymore like it used to. Okay, so um, what you can do um, is type your font below it somewhere what you used. You can make it really small just as long as you can see it. If you're worried about not being able to remember what you used, make sure you keep it on the mat though and come to your wrench. Set it to a draw. If This is going to be a cut file. Okay, So set that as a draw. Come up here to your preview and check. Yes, so that's a draw. So when you save it, when you send it to the machine and you hit cut, this will be the only thing you see. You will not see this part because it is a draw file only. All right. Okay, now, um, let's see, let's bring up the second page. I have one saved here. The best way to do it um, is to actually save it as a scut file. And here's why. Look. As soon as I click on it, it pops up what um, font I used. It's right here. Okay. So this is a this is the Honeybee font. This is a shortcuts a lot file. Let's do up another one here. Okay. Let's do a happy birthday. Okay. to my favorites and understand if you want this to remember you have to make sure that these fonts are actually stored in shortcuts a lot not just the one-time uses okay so let's do let's do a Dom Rosemary okay all right so we'll do a save as Okay, so let's fully exit out of here, and let's restart the program. Now this is version 4.058. Let's open this. Fifth one. Okay, so there's happy. Uh, look, there it is. So that is actually the best way to remember to save this. If you don't want to um, do it that way. Just type it in the bottom and set it as a draw file, okay? If you just want to save it one time as like an SVG, that's the other way to do it. All right, guys, if you have any questions, come and find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scalhub on Facebook.